hello and welcome to engineer hash civil engineer in this video we are going to discuss about the concepts freezing and thawing see these are not two concepts this is a cycle of freezing and thawing so first of all let's discuss what is freezing and what is thawing we study these two concepts while studying about concrete so today we are going to discuss what is its effect on the concrete first of all if we assume a concrete block it has got so many pore spaces when that concrete is subjected to water the pore spaces get occupied with water when temperatures fall below 0 degree centigrade during winters the pores the water in the pore spaces will get solidified and it turns into ice so this process is called as freezing let me repeat consider a concrete block it has so many it has got so many pore spaces when that concrete block is subjected to water the pore spaces get occupied with water and when temperatures fall below 0 degree centigrade in the winter that water in the pore spaces will turn into ice that is freezing and next this see this is the freezing cycle and it happens in winter and what is thawing thawing is the second part of the cycle during summers as temperatures rise the ice in the concrete pores will turn in again into water that is thawing thawing is nothing but it is melting of ice into water in the concrete pores that is thawing this is a cycle of freezing and thawing it happens every year in winters we we see freezing and in summers we see thawing see this effect is predominantly seen in cold regions rather than tropical countries so we understood what is freezing and what is thawing so what is its effect on the concrete why it deteriorates the structure why it reduces the strength of the structure now we are going to see this see when water turns into ice it expands by 9% when consider this concrete block and this is subjected to water during the freezing cycle and all the pores got occupied see completely it completely occupied with water and the water has no way to go during the freezing cycle when it is completely occupied with water all the pores got occupied with water during freezing cycle the water expands by 9% to turn into ice so then water what it does is it creates an hydraulic force on the concrete solid part of the concrete that hydraulic force will create an abrasive effect on the solid part of our concrete and that creates a dent of this much for first freezing cycle one and have again the and uh, after summer's approach and thawing happens means again the ice will get converted into water and next for the second freezing cycle what happens is this structure again completely occupied with water and now the water occupies up to this part it even occupies this dent also and again freezing happens and it will have an hydraulic force and this creates a dent of this much for freezing cycle 2 and freezing cycle 3 it will create this much of dent see its effect is cumulative it starts with a small dent and that dent will have a cumulative effect on the structure that dent will expand proportionately that effect is cumulative so this is how freezing and thawing affects the concrete structure so we have air entraining agents and de-icing agents to fight back the freezing and thawing mechanism see when a structure is subjected to freezing and thawing for repeated cycles means for repeated years the structure will turn like this see we, we, we see these kind of structures in cold regions and see the, it even happens in tropical regions also this is how it affects this uh, these things are created by freezing and thawing cycles for repeated years 
so with my explanation if you understand freezing and thawing please hit like button please subscribe my channel you we value your feedback you can feedback me at this email id you can comment please share this video with your friends thank you for watching